Hey guys, so today is September 4th. It's the day after Labor Day and my first day going back to work as a new mom. So I'm going to attempt to vlog the day. Um, it is 6 o'clock. I hit snooze a bunch of times. <laughs> um, baby Joy Chaser is sleep in my bed he is still not sleeping through the night he got really fussy around 4 30 um where he wasn't like he was still asleep but kept waking himself up so i just pulled him in the bed with me so he would go back into like a deep sleep um and right now i have my pump <laughs> and i'm actually gonna go and pump some milk in the bathroom um, because I don't want him to wake up um, until I'm ready for him to wake up. So the cats are woke and ready for fresh food. <laughs> and peanut, and they are up and ready for breakfast. Okay, so while I sit here pumping, let me show you guys how oops almost dropped the camera let me show you guys how I have Frankenstein this breast pump so yeah, you can see I have two different brand flange and collection cups on um, yesterday was Labor Day went to um, a family member's house to get together with family we were the first to leave because I had to be home and I prepare it for work and everything. And I had taken my breast pump with me with the intention of pumping milk while I was there. But baby was so fussy that I never really got to put him down. Um, or even could hand him off for a long time or anyone to pump. So I never actually took anything out of the bag. And the, the bag that I have, I had the pump in the main part and I had the collection cups with the flanges attached um, the spectra cups with the flanges attached in like the outside pocket so I took the pump in their house it was on the couch and then I just picked it up put it back in the car came home back in the house so get home finally get him settled enough where you know I can actually pump and I'm missing the um the little piece that the milk I forget exactly what it's called but the, the part that prevents the milk backflow um, in the pump and that makes the milk pump is missing so at some point in my travels yesterday it fell off and it's gone nowhere in my house have I been able to find it my niece um, went and searched my car couldn't find it I text my cousin at the house where I was can't find it so luckily the tubes uh, for the Lance no pump and actually I, I have three pumps in my possession right now and a Lance no pump the spectra and the Amita the tubing size for all of them is the same so I have one Spectra pump on, I mean, not pump, collection cup and, fl and flange, and one Lantino cup and flange, so, which we'll have to do for the next couple, two days. I did order a new milk flow, like a backup milk flow uh, piece and stuff from Amazon, and it'll be here in two days, but just like, well, I really have all the days, like right before I go back to work, I'm going to be lugging this pump and it's missing pieces now so yeah so i had to kind of frankenstein it a bit as you guys can see but anyway it's working the milk is getting out so that's the main thing um i was thinking that i'm trying to decide do i hear the baby i don't think so i think it's in my mind I don't know about you guys, but I definitely have phantom baby cries, and I just realized that because I would hear him crying when I knew he was already at daycare. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, so 
yeah just pumping some milk right now it's now 6 10 guys so i only got to pump about 10 minutes or so because as you can see baby joy chaser is awake and annoyed that i'm not here in the bed with him so i'm gonna feed him um some formula this morning and get us both dressed say good morning good morning hi yeah i know you woke up and i wasn't in here i'm back though it's okay yeah it's okay okay guys so this is how i multitask i am still hooked up to the breast pump because it's only able to pump about 10 minutes or so before he started crying so i kind of prop him up between my legs and he's getting his bottle while i finish pumping these this is the most difficult way for me to pump because he likes to grab the tubes he likes to grab the cups in general he doesn't seem to like when I pump I guess because I can't like hold him in my lap really close um, but he gets the job done so multitasking a little bit this morning because um, I'm pumping obviously he's still getting some breast milk I'm still supplementing with formula I like to save the breast milk for like the nighttime feedings, he still is not sleeping through the night. Um, but the breast milk is, helps them because it can be out of the refrigerator a little longer than the formula if the room is, you know, kind of cool. Um, so that works a little better during the night so I don't have to like run to the refrigerator um, constantly. So, breakfast time for baby Joy Chaser while I finish pumping. And it's almost 6.30 now. By the way, in general, my work day starts at 7 a.m. But I had already told my boss this first week I'll probably be coming in late. As I get used to this new schedule and really get used to getting up this early. Because it's so hard when he's not sleeping through the night. Or, for example, we came upstairs to get ready for bed at around 9 o'clock. I think I didn't actually get in bed to go to sleep till after 11 because he was just so fussy and every time I tried to sneak out of the room to get a shower he would wake up and scream so things are definitely challenging but it's so worth it because he's looking at me so lovingly as he's having his breakfast and that makes it worth every challenge Okay guys, so it is just 7.30 and we are on our way. I did manage to put a little bit of makeup on. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't really do a lot of makeup, but I really don't want a whole bunch of people telling me how tired I look <laughs> on my first day back. Um, and I'm not wearing a tank top to work. I have my blouse in the back, but I didn't want to risk. Uh, baby Joy Chaser throwing up on me when I carried him in or out into daycare. So I'm going to put my blouse on after I drop him off. Um, but overall, so far so good. Um, I'm only 30 minutes late at this point. But I already knew I was going to be late today. So I'm not concerned. <laughs> um, but so far so good for the day. Excuse my hands as I'm driving. But anyway. I'll check in again in a few minutes. Hope you're enjoying today's AM. And baby Joy Teaser is dropped off to daycare. Put my blouse on so I look presentable. And now I'm heading into the office. So his daycare is on the base where I work. Um, but the challenge is there's construction on the base. So we don't have as much parking as we used to. So that's probably going to be my bigger challenge for today is finding a place to park. Um, I probably just park illegally in someone's spot and cross my fingers that they don't use their spot or come to work today. So anyway, I'm heading into the office. I will check in with you guys later. Okay guys, so the nonsense has already begun. So to start off, all of our buildings are secured. We have to use our IDs to get in. I've been using my ID at home to um, log in for my timekeeping all these months. 
worked fine. My first day back, my car does not work at the front door to my building. And it also does not work in my computer. Hi. Good. Thank you. So, I'm off to the ID office to see if I can get it fixed. If it doesn't work, I guess I have to go home and maternity leave will continue. Okay guys, so it's about 10 o'clock. I had to get a whole new ID. So I got that and now I'm going to take it to security so I can get access to my building and I register my car because I never did that when I got a new car as well. So I've been here a couple hours and haven't even attempted <laughs> to look at any work but oh well. So far so good I guess for a first day. I am in the lactation room at work. It's actually pretty nice. There are three like little subdivisions and there's a refrigerator that I can store the milk for the day in as long as I take it home in the afternoon. And I'm in the biggest one of the rooms now. And there's a little table and an outlet and a chair. A little photo. <laughs> Not bad, um, I will okay. say. Thank you, Obamacare, because <laughs> uh, with Obamacare, there were some rules that came out regarding, I think, federal workplaces needing lactation rooms. So this is pretty nice. Okay, so I just finished my first pumping session at work. Didn't get very much milk. Got about two ounces which is a little below average for me for one session but yesterday my schedule was all off so I think that's probably the culprit but so far so good felt weird to be doing it at work though um, so I feel a little guilty even though I'm doing what I'm supposed to do like oh because I'm using work time for it but I'll get over it trust hey me guys so it is now about 4.30 I just finished pumping milk again in the lactation room at work and I'm heading back to my desk and I think I'm gonna get out of here for today and go get the baby and see how he made out um, this will have been his longest day at the daycare ever so hopefully he was not mr. cranky pants I'll let you guys know so it's like five of five I am picking up baby joy chaser when I got back to my desk from pumping milk my whole team was gone for the day so that is my cue to exit so I'm about to pick him up hopefully he had a really good day we'll see with these babies you just never know they're very unpredictable human beings joy chaser apparently he was mr. cranky pants all afternoon and no one could console him <sighs> Oh well, they say he's the loudest crier, which I'm not mad at that because then I know he won't be ignored. But he was cranky yesterday too, so I'm not sure what that's about. I feel like he's getting more clingy towards me. So maybe that's just a phase that he's going through right now. But anyway, now we're heading home. Okay guys, so it is 6.30. Baby Joy Chaser is asleep. He fell asleep in a car on the way home from daycare. Um, so I got home. Washed all the bottles um, from today and from last night. And now I am pumping some milk. And um, I got the bottles packed and labeled for daycare for him tomorrow. And I'm tired. <laughs> um, when I finish pumping, if he hasn't woken up, I'm going to wake him up because I don't want him to sleep too long and not sleep tonight. Um, but pretty much my plan now for the rest of the evening is pick out Baby Joy Chaser's outfit for tomorrow. Um, oh, and I have a few formula bottles ready for this evening. And um, I usually give him the breast milk throughout the night when he wakes up throughout the night and if he hasn't finished it um, or if he doesn't wake up he'll have it in the morning um, but I have formula already done for the rest of the evening as well so my plans are pretty much now 
try to pump a, at least one more time this evening and then another time right before going to sleep. Um, we're going to try eat a, try to feed baby Joy Chaser a little food. We started with some solids. I don't know if I'm going to get this video published before or after his four month um, update video, but if I do this one first, here's a sneak preview. We are attempting to start solids. It's not going well, um, but I'm going to attempt to give him some oatmeal, baby oatmeal, and pears, jarred pears, baby food pears. Um, and then, other than that, relax. I did not do well with meal planning for this week, so I think I'm going to order a pizza. Um, again, my... I don't know if this will be up before my four month update, but another sneak peek, my niece lives with me now, so I don't know what she's done for dinner, but I'll probably order pizza for the both of us. Um, so overall, I think today went really well. Um, I will give the one final check in tonight before bed, I'll let you know how the rest of the evening goes with Baby Joy Chaser, if he's still being Mr. Cranky Pants, like he was at daycare. Um, Anyway, whoever's watched throughout the whole video for today's vlog, I appreciate you, and thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the last little bit um, from later tonight. Bye! Okay guys, so it is quarter to twelve, and hopefully this is our last bottle. <laughs> um, <laughs> Baby Drape Chaser is very fussy. Um, I put him down to sleep in the travel basket on my bed. And he be asleep and soon. It's, I guess he can smell when I leave the room, maybe. As soon as I leave the room, he will start screaming. So I came back, got him back to sleep again, went to take a shower, as soon as I turned the water off, I could hear him screaming. I was, it was a quick shower, maybe like six minutes, so he wasn't crying that long. Oh. Come on. And apparently he wants me to stop talking now. I guess I'm now keeping him awake. <laughs> Overall, today was a good day. Thanks for watching, guys.